Shalom, brothers. All praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles that rule well. And peace and blessing to you, brothers, out there that's kicking this world for Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, we are the GMS Dallas camp. And uh, it's a spirit that uh, this topic is coming up again uh, about uh, reincarnation. Uh, brother, me and the brothers were actually speaking, and we wanted to actually brush up on uh, the basis of the scriptures, man. And just it just so happened that... Uh, you know, I was actually doing a uh, a, a sit down concerning this matter, and uh, the biggest point that stepped out uh, uh, to me, which the scriptures had made, is they always give the example of reincarnation concerning the prophets. Now, I'd like to get uh, Second Maccabees uh, seven and twenty, just you know, to give a clear illustration that reincarnation exists in the scriptures, right? Did someone have it? Okay. Well, this is 2 Maccabees 7 and 20. But the mother was marvelous above all mm -hmm. and worthy of honorable memory. Now, if you read up in uh, this verse, in, 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 in this chapter, actually, what was going on is you had seven brothers being tortured uh, for not eating pork, right? So what happened is uh, after, you know, the seven brothers were, were killed, the mother said something that was very heroic in a sense. Go ahead, Al. For when she saw her seven sons slain within the space of one day, mm -hmm. she bare it with a good courage because of the hope that she had in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she exhorted every one of them in her own language, mm -hmm. filled with courageous spirits, and stirring up the womanism, womanish thoughts with a manly stomach. So she... Uh, the most I put spirit on her just to be very manly in that time, man, which was a you know, as anybody can imagine, was a horrific time man, in that woman's life, man. She just witnessed seven of her sons being uh, killed, you know. Any person, not just not just even a woman, would be you know, uh, devastated in a sense. But what did she do? Go ahead. She said unto them, "I cannot tell how ye came into my womb." For neither, neither gave you breath nor life. Mm -hmm. Neither was it I that formed the members of every one of you. Mm -hmm. So she acknowledges that she, it was the will of Yahweh by Shemeshah that these seven brothers were formed. Right? Go ahead. Up. But doubtless the creator of the world who formed the generation of man mm -hmm. and found out the beginning of all things mm -hmm. will also of his mercy Give the breath and life again. That's right. So he's telling the woman to, uh, is telling her sons that they were destroyed, that were killed. Hey man, don't worry. The Most High who created everything, He's gonna give you breath and life again, man. How's He gonna do so? Do regeneration? Do a uh, reincarnation? Go ahead, up. As ye now regard not not your own selves for His law's sake. That's right, y'all. Uh. So it's it, that's a that's a clear. Um, illustration on how uh, uh, reincarnation works. Man. You die, you come back. You know, that spirit comes back, man. Go ahead. I, I got a quick one, kind of. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, this is Psalms uh, 104 and 28. It says, uh, or 29, it says, Thou hidest thy face, they are troubled, and thou takest away their breath. They die and return to their dust. Mm. Thou sendest forth thy spirit, they are created, and thou renewest the face of the earth. Hey, you break it down if you want to. Huh? Yeah, that just basically, you know, the, the whole reincarnation uh, thing. When you die, man, your flesh goes back to the earth, and then your spirit goes back to the Most High that gave it. And then the Most High, because the spirit is just pure energy, is just continued to, you know, be cast back down on the earth mm -hmm. into new flesh, you know? That's why the word, uh, what reincarnation means, uh, entering back into the flesh. Meaning right. your spirit coming back into spirit coming back in the flesh. That's all it means, man. It's not some big mystical uh, thing, you know. Or if you believe in reincarnation, you we're not in no to, into Hinduism or whatever, you know. Or whoever believes in that, I think yeah, it's the Buddhist Hinduism, you know, or is it the yeah, Hindu? No, right. You know, it's a it's a, just a simple concept, really. You know. That's right. That was it on that. That's beautiful. Um, the example that the first example that I like to get uh, concerning reincarnation and prophecy is uh, how. Elijah was actually was uh, a prophesied to come back. Let's get uh, Malachi 4 and 5. Okay, go ahead. Uh. 
uh, this is Malachi 4 and 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah, the prophet, before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Mm -hmm. So so it's telling you there that uh, uh, Elijah was, was going to come back before uh, Yahweh Shai uh, walked the face of the we actually not walk, but uh, was was uh, was on the face of the earth, man. John the Baptist was uh, uh, Eli uh, cousin, six months older than him, mm -hmm. and he was gonna pave the way for Yahweh Shai's ministry. That's right, sir. Is there more to that? That's it. Let's go to uh, uh, Matt. Uh, was it Matthew's eleven? Uh, okay. Uh, Matthew chapter eleven. <clears throat> Uh, I started verse 12. Mm -hmm. uh, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. For all the prophets and the law prophesied unto John. Mm -hmm. And if you will receive it, this is Elias, which was for to come. That's right, man. So he, right there, he states clearly that that was Elias supposed to come back, man. Now, the army was, uh, uh, is it? Reincarnation versus uh, resurrection. My question to those uh, those two gentlemen that made that uh, that video was: Did the uh, Elijah come in back in the same body? Obviously, he didn't, man. So that's a clear cut. Mm -hmm. There was a uh, that that's the spirit came back, man. Did you have a precept? Uh, no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So. Yes, sir. Go ahead. Um, I'm going to, uh, this is Ecclesiastes, I'll say 1 and 11. There is no remembrance of former things, mm -hmm. neither shall there be any remembrance of the things that are to come with those that shall come after. Right yeah, basically that means uh, in order to, to have some remembrance of something, you have to be there. You know? So now that's showing up that now the people are here now. They have no remembrance of their former lives. Okay? That's exactly what that scripture is breaking down to say. That's right. That's right, brother. What? Did you ask something? Yeah, I just got a quick one. Just Go breaking ahead. down the whole concept of death. Because you niggas don't seem to understand that if you don't understand reincarnation, man. This ain't no fairy tale stuff, man. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes 11 or Salakia 12 and 7. It says, Then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. So that spirit, like I was saying, man, it's just pure energy, man. When, when you die, your flesh just goes back to the earth and your spirit back to the most high. And he just sends it back down in certain, uh, what, uh, what, every, what, uh, third and fourth generation. Mm -hmm. And you just come back in new flesh, man. You come back into the flesh. And like the brother's making a point about, you know, they didn't know uh, that John the Baptist was a logic. You don't come back being the same person in the flesh, man. No, man. The, the problem with that, that is uh, the question... Uh, well, actually, the answer that Yahweh Shai received from the, from the disciples, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Uh, oh, yeah, that was a little bit more Matthew 11. Okay. Uh, Matthew 11, 14. And if you will receive it, this is Elias, which is for to come. He that hath ears to hear, let him hear. And I read the last verse because it says, if you have ears to hear, let him hear. Because everyone has ears. If you have a spiritual ear, that's why the Lord said in verse 14, if you will receive it. Uh, this is Elijah. Elijah was foretold to come. So not everybody's gonna receive this, man, mm -hmm. because of the ways of this world they teach you that you just go burn in hell somewhere. So if you receive it, which is the spirit of the Yah Bashim Shah has to be only to receive this. Right. Only the elect is gonna really receive it and understand it and take it around with it uh, through the spirit, you know. So that, that's the only reason I wanted to bring that up. No, exactly. Well, you have to have a spiritual. Uh a spirit, a, a spiritual mindset, in order to understand the dark sayings of this, because mm -hmm. the Most High do things like to, uh, give uh, light in this, uh, this the truth, or, or give a uh, little little parts of the different uh, philosophies of truth, man, to bug Jake out, man. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all according to the spirit. If you get uh, receive it, bro. That's right. Uh, let's get that in. Uh, let's matter of fact, let's go ahead and get that. Yeah. Uh, this is Luke 9 and I'm going to start up at 18 okay. and it came to pass as he was alone praying his disciples were with him and he asked them saying whom say the people that I am mm -hmm. 
They answering said, John the Baptist, but some say Elias, mm -hmm. and others say the one of the old prophets is risen again. Hold on. Uh, at one point in time, uh, Yahweh Shai and, and uh, John the Baptist were alive at the same time. Mm -hmm. So you had, how do you explain that what people were saying? Now, that was a clear fa uh, fallacy. But that just, they just let you know that people come uh, come back in different uh, flesh, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, dog. That's it, man. Read that one more. Read 19 one more it's time. Not, uh, back at Luke 9 and 19. They answering said, John the Baptist, but some say Elias, and others say the one of the old prophets is risen again. That's right. One of the old prophets is risen again, man. <laughs> That's a clear cut. A clear cut. Did you add some more? Oh, no, I don't have anything right now for me. I'm just gonna get sanded off. Okay. Just to clear that yeah, so, uh, I mean, right. Points been made, but if right. you guys have anything else. Right. Yeah, go ahead. Uh. Now, I got a few more. I got okay. Yeah. Exodus chapter twenty, verse five. Uh, thou shalt not bow down. Uh, thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, the Lord Yahweh, thy power, am a jealous of God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Mm -hmm. So what they're saying is you you pretty much, that's how you you plan your judgment that way. There ain't no way where you go burn in hell or you die once and it's over and you just poop off and you never exist again. That's you right. come back every third or fourth generation, man. Like the brother brought out that you, you uh, the spirit goes back to the heavenly father and he renews the earth. The spirit is nothing but uh, angels and, and uh, pure energy. You know what I'm saying? Your spirit is pure energy. It can't be destroyed. It can only be transferred. That's right. So in Hebrews 1, it said he didn't make his angels um, uh, spirits and flames of fire. So you can't, you fire can't burn itself. There ain't no special fire that's down in the so-called hell to where you burn forever, man. Your spirit is just pure energy. So it can never be destroyed. So the most high just transfers it from the earth back to the spirit world every third or fourth generation. He renews the face of earth and puts you back down here. And that's when you really play out your judgment. Mm -hmm. Okay. I got one. Okay. Um, yeah, and this is uh, Yahweh Shah talking right here. Or Salakia. Well, yeah, Peter and Yahweh Shah. This is St. Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said, Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? Mm -hmm. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. So that word re regeneration is right there, meaning like in the in the world to come, in the kingdom, man, which is going to be played out on earth, man. That's a clear example that the spirit don't die. Because the disciples, all they, they die, they all get put to death. Die, man. There was, there was uh, counts of that evidence so that, that they actually died. Yep. That's right. And so the Lord told them they was gonna actually come back and be in a regeneration, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Man. Yep. Mm -hmm. So they understood that. Even all the people, all the nation of Israel understood that back in the day. You can just, if you really pay attention, if you have a spiritual eye when you read the scriptures, yeah, it's you clear. can tell it, it's it's clear as day. That's right. You know, actually, somebody can give the word quick scripture for me. Uh, Second Ezra sixteen. You see, that's and why that's 16. why they were um, always questioning the people when they see one of the the men of the Lord pop up. They're always trying to question. Which one of those men was it? You know, who was this person? Who was that person? And that's that's countless times throughout the scriptures. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. I had a, quick, a few quick, a couple of scriptures you had to show that the prophets understood that they were going to come back in, in a certain time. Mm -hmm. uh, second Ezra 16 and 16. Second Ezra 16 and 16. Yep. This is the prophet Ezra's talking. If you read this chapter, this chapter is all talking about the end time. The end of days is the nuclear destruction. Then you read the latest chapter, it goes into martial law. The whole everything that's coming that's coming to pass right now. But this was over two thousand years ago, right here when Ezra wrote this down. Second Ezra sixteen and sixteen, like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer returning not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon earth shall not return again. Right, and those plagues, the ultimate plague is what? Those nuclear missiles, because the scriptures liken the missile to an arrow and being shot to the other end of the earth. The only thing that can be do that do that is a missile. And once it's shot, it's not going to return back. 
And also, uh, Isaiah 55, it tells you that the Lord's word doesn't return to him void. Mm -hmm. So he said it is going to happen. Go ahead. Woe is me. Woe is me. Destruction. Destru woe is me. Woe is me. Like, oh, shit. You know, go ahead. Who will deliver me in those days? In those days. Now, this is, he's seen a vision. He's asking who's going to deliver him in those days. But Ezra's lived over two, oh, well over 2,000 years ago. Yep. I don't know no 2,000 year old man walking around. Mm -hmm. Sure. So the, the, the prophet Ezra actually understood it at that time, man. He's like, man, I know I'm be around that time. Who's going to deliver me? Am I going to be able to make it in those days? Mm -hmm. Okay, he was scared as hell because why? Because the prophets understood. The nation of Israel understood reincarnation, man. Mm -hmm. That's right. They knew they was coming back. Yeah, yeah they knew they come back every, every third, third or fourth generation. You know, we just don't, we just didn't know that here. Why? Because we, we were discontinued from our heritage. That's right. So now we, we completely under the thumb of this Western uh, philosophy to where they, they got this bullshit doctrine of you can only doubt once, so live it up, YOLO, mm -hmm. and all yeah. that crap. That's the wisdom of Solomon in the second chapter, man. Mm -hmm. We can yeah. actually uh, get that drawn to. God. Uh, you know, did yeah, you have a person? We, I, I was going to bring this account out yeah. you know, in Samuel. Uh, this is 2 Samuel uh, chapter 7. Uh, I'll start at 12. It says, And when thy days be fulfilled, and thou shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. Mm. He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men, and with the stripes of the children of men. So you got to ask yourself, uh, well, who is the scriptures talking about right here, man? You know? Who, who is the scriptures talking about right here? If, if you know anything about King Solomon, man, uh, during the time of his reign, it was complete peace, man. Ain't nobody